Does subclinical hypothyroidism in pregnant women endanger the cognitive development of their child? The debate rages on. At the International Thyroid Congress in Paris, Dr. John Lazarus presented some preliminary data of the CAT study, the first randomized controlled trial to examine this issue in more than 22,000 pregnant women. A preliminary analysis found that there was no difference in the cognitive development between the children of women who received thyroid supplementation during their pregnancy and those who did not. Well, we uh, tested the IQ, the cognitive development, at three years and a half of two groups of children, one group whose mothers had low T4 or high TSH and were treated with uh, levothyroxine, 0.15 milligrams a day, and a control group who's ch who had the same biochemical values, the mothers in early pregnancy, mm -hmm. but who were not treated. And we did not find any significant difference between the mean IQ in the two groups. Or the difference between the number of children who had an IQ of less than 85%. Correct. When you restricted your analysis to women who you were sure were compliant with their medication, it was a little bit of a different story. Yes, it was. There was a significant difference, but I have to emphasize that that group of screen women, screen children from screened women is not therefore a randomized group. Right. So that's why I'm saying these are very preliminary data. So the preliminary results of the CAT study seem to argue against population-based screening. Does that leave it up to the individual physician to make this decision? I believe so at the moment, and I think the Endocrine Society guidelines have said so far that um, if there's a particular risk factor, and there's a whole string of them, then uh, the lady should be screened. Unfortunately, there are other studies which show if you t adopt that strategy, you will miss a significant number of women. Well, Dr. Lazarus, what advice do you have for physicians on the front line who have to deal with this problem? I think the advice is think thyroid and pregnancy, mm -hmm. because there may be something. That's the important thing, to recognize that there may be a problem. The thyroid mm -hmm. disease in pregnancy is quite common and should not be ignored, and nor should it be ignored after delivery. Postpartum disease is uh, 1 in 12, 1 in 15 of otherwise normal looking women, mm -hmm. and it can have very nasty effects. This has been Michelle Sullivan reporting from Paris for Global Medical News Network. <laughs>